So I think what is an all that good of an approach? Not doing efficacy testing in animals before going into humans. So you should do it. You should do it. Of course you should do it. I mean, mm-hmm. like, it's easy to make something safe. It's just, you know, you know, you give cyanide at low enough dose, it's safe, right? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean that it's going to, you know, treat anything. Um, but I think, again, I, I'm not an expert on why clinical trials are so expensive and why they have been getting more expensive. My guess would be it's because of the cost of all the failures and the cost of regulation. And maybe also the fact that many of the low hanging fruits that do not require things like biologics, uh, gene therapies, cell therapies have already been kind of hit mm-hmm. by small molecules. And so the next, every next phase requires something more difficult. Got it. So let's talk about what, what, what is in your control with, with Olden sure. Labs um, to smart uh, cages or at least these like smart lids that you put on um, established uh, so like uh, cages that are already uh, being used um, in animal facilities. 